This morning, I woke up in France. Yesterday, I was enjoying the sun and breeze of an Italian island called Sardinia. And today, I find myself awakening on the small island of Corsica. How did I get here? Well, Francais. I don't speak Francais, but I like. My dad, the captain, decided we should leave Italy and sail to France early this morning. Now I'm in France and finding myself saying things such as Bonjour, mon bache. What? Tu es grande merde. What? Anywho, the moral of the story is living on a sailboat is unpredictable. You never know what might happen tomorrow. It's always quite the adventure. I think I am happy with this. It seems okay. Oh, P.S. My name is Finn. With two ends. Let's go. Good, good morning. I was informed that on Monday we would be sailing to Barcelona, Spain, and today is Monday, so it is time to get a move on. First things first, we gotta cast off the mooring lines and then fuel up the boat with fuel, and then we're out of here. <laughs> and Jack's yelling at me to get out there and help because he has no patience. So let's go. So pretty. <laughs> so we got mooring lines run to land, and that's what we have to disengage from. There you go. <sighs> He's such a good worker. I mean, he just good job, Jack. The time we spent here in Corsica was kind of left short but you know if the captain says we gotta go we gotta go we're on a bit of a timing issue so that's life i guess this place is beautiful i would have loved to spend more time here and sail up to mainland france but i guess that just wasn't in the cards for us so yeah now we're sailing to barcelona i mean corsica is just so beautiful isn't it normally we fuel up and stock up on food before passages so we don't run out of those precious, precious, valuable currencies out there um, because that wouldn't be good. You know, we don't want to starve to death. The boat's going away. I gotta speed up. If you were wondering where we get our groceries from, grocery stores. And if you're wondering where we get our fuel from, fuel docks. I don't actually know what my, whoa, that's the sun. Oh! I'm gonna be really honest, I don't know my exact job right now. We're just sitting outside the fuel dock. As you can see, waiting for the people getting fuel now to get off so we can get fuel. It's uh, a little too early for me to be awake right now, feeling sleepy, but that's all right. We've got two days of sailing and nothing to do, so I'll be sleeping quite a bit soon. Sleeping's fun, you know? I love sleeping. Trash. Trash. <gasps> bye bye. And just like that, we're done. Au revoir, friends. It was fun, but we've got places to be. I think I'm gonna sleep. Waking up at seven isn't normal for me, so I'm gonna sleep. I have a night shift later tonight, so it's okay. I'm not completely lazy. I need my rest so I can stay up till 3 a.m. Jack and Kate, or mom or dad, will be looking out during the day. I look like I'm glowing right now. 
from the sun. Let's go. It's the almighty Kate. Let's go. Uh, let's go! Today was uneventful. We just sailed, slept, sailed, and slept. Although, I must admit, this evening was by far the highlight of the day. So beautiful out here. No land in sight, just the noises of the ocean moving and the wind rushing against our sails. Sailing is peaceful on days like these. Boring, but peaceful. Doesn't stop you. Let's play golf. Wow, the night is so beautiful. Me and Kate were just watching the stars and the comets fly through the the sky for about 10 minutes before she went off to bed. Her shift was before mine. Hers is from 9 to 12, mine's from 12 to 3, and then Jack takes over from 3 to 6, and my dad is the rest until the morning, basically. Night shift is always super easy. We're not sailing right now because the wind is 3.6 knots, which is like four miles an hour, super light. Yeah, we're just motoring to Barcelona. All I do is watch the wind angle, wind speed, because if those change while we're sailing, that'll mess up the sails. I make sure we're on our heading, which is the direction we're going, and then boats and buoys around us, because that would suck to hit something out here, you know? You do a lot of thinking on night shifts. I mean, it's three hours of alone time. If you're not watching a movie, you're probably listening to music thinking about something. And something I've been thinking about, not even on night shift, just in general is, and it's a conclusion or an epiphany, whichever one you want to call it. Something I've realized is that it's not the place or the journey, it's the people who come with you on that journey and to that destination. And I didn't realize that for a while and now I do. And it's an interesting thought and you might not agree with me, but like-minded people make an empty box full. I mean, people are awesome. You gotta find the right people, but I don't know. Yeah, anyways, that's all I've really gotta say. I'm probably gonna watch a movie. Yeah. Three hours of fun. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, there's something exciting happening. Yeah. I doubt it, but maybe. Alright, adios amigos. Pray that I don't fall off the boat. Let's go. Right here. Hello again. We are, uh, Still sailing to Barcelona, although I thought I'd interrupt with a little exciting bit here. We are uh, fishing. Well, we're about to catch a fish. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh! Oh, there we go. Oh, he wanted it. He's coming back. Come on. Nothing but open ocean and fish that we can't seem to catch. What the heck? I mean, we we just aren't fishermen. I, or we just don't have good luck or something. I don't know. Now that is embarrassing. Yeah, that is embarrassing. I'm just hoping for one fish. Oh no. Oh no fish. Gotta go to the starboard. Yeah, look at him right here. See him flopping? We're just chasing the fish right now, and they just keep moving, and we're doing circles, and it's just... It happened. They didn't get nothing. Nothing. The elusive Mediterranean fish. They just don't like you, I guess. They don't like you. I don't like them. They, they were skipjacks anyway. It would have been exciting just to fish, just to catch something, you know, release it. Yeah, 15 hours. The Barcelona, Vicky Cristina Barcelona. So silly, they were there, and then they were gone. We ran right through them like two, three times. Had a bite, but never, couldn't make it work. Pull out the head sail. So All right, I'll pull out the head sail. He wants me to pull out the head sail, I'll pull out the head sail, okay? 
I'm putting out the jib right now. I know how to sail. The jib. We got electric winches, you know, because we're uh, super spoiled. And that's just how we do it. That's pretty much it, Sailor Boy fan. On the mic. Say, give him a little more. Sailor Boy, give me a little more. He wants a little more sail, so we're gonna tighten it a little more. He said, that's good, that's good. Out in the ocean, looking for fish. Ain't no fish. That's all I got to say. See you in Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> Speak of the devil, we caught a fish, what even? I was just editing video and then all of a sudden zzzz, And uh, Jack's reeling it in for us. <sighs> I wonder what kind of fish it is. Oh, it's a Dorado! Oh. It's a Dorado, which is the best eaten fish in the entire ocean. Mahi Mahi Dorado, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we're eating good tonight. Let's go. Yeah, first Dorado we've ever caught in the Mediterranean. As you can see, I'm not much help. Kind of just sitting here, here, watching and filming. I try to help. I'm a liability. So we put the passerelle down, which is this long thing that's going to uh, let us hop off the boat Woo! on some one. certain marinas and such, but that's besides the point. We clean our fish on it. Ah, we caught a fish. That's so sick. <laughs> Good job, Jack. Good job. Good job. He's lost all his color now. It's uh... Where's our cleaning bucket? They're going to fillet him and cut him and... All that good stuff. I'm not gonna film it. I don't really care to film a fish getting stabbed and cut, I don't know. Anyways, if you wanna see more on that, you can go check out her YouTube channel. But we're gonna, we're gonna eat this and cook this, so I'll skip to that, cause this is gonna be so good. This is gonna taste so good. Let's go. helping us cook uh, potato chips boiled potato chips and then we're gonna have the fish on the grill for dessert I found this in the freezer it's like this pie thing I bought a week ago and I forgot about it and uh, it's gonna be really good for dessert so we're set This is our grill. This is what we cook some food on. Not all food, but as you can see, I'm a professional chef. Don't overcook it. It's breaking apart on me like flaky salmon. Is it good? I got way too much lime on that one. <laughs> and that is called a catch and cook. We've got our beautiful fish and chips, and uh, let's give this fish a try, shall we? Mm. 
and that is so good very good very good and the chip mm. big thank you to Jack for reeling in the fish and also Jack and dad filleting it earlier oh my gosh this is so good um yeah that's the end of the video ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching and uh I know you maybe were excited to see us get to Barcelona, but maybe in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one, because I sure did enjoy making it. Yeah. Let's go. Look at that. I got another one.